sorry guys for the delay and uh, hello youtubers so uh, what we have done is uh, put the transmission back together uh, so hey, can you uh, put it in the upwards position uh, you know stand it up I'd like to show him before we you know assemble the case uh, back together with it uh, show him like a couple maybe pointers so okay so uh, step by step if you need uh, you're probably gonna need a step by step you first you have to have uh, this main shaft and do and this one Cl uh, put them together so that those two gears you know uh, coincide one and two and um, you can wait for that third um, uh, 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 reverse gear that is going to be behind this little block of metal. You know, the, the gear that, that, that is supported by this shaft. You can wait because you can do this at the end uh, after you, you have put in both of these shafts. Uh, put them in, uh, put them in um, deep. Don't forget the bearing uh, that goes down there. Um, and uh, the thing has to come out, the, the, the output shaft has to come out about, uh, I'd say this is almost just about an inch um, on the back of the transmission. And uh, so you do this and then you put that C, that, that C-shaped ring that's inside. Uh, flash the light, please. Uh, like try to flash it inside. Yeah, you see that one? Okay, you put it in that you put it that way you put it in that way so you see that the, the the that screw goes through and there's there are three screws that go through through it and uh, they are tightened through the back uh, so you can do this after you've put uh, all the the main shaft and uh, shafts and everything inside and do not forget that's what I wanted to point it out too uh, this uh, shift fork it doesn't really matter uh, when you put it in, but those two that are before it, you have to put them on the shaft before you put the shaft back in the transmission, uh, or else it's just not gonna work. Um, okay, uh, so you put both of these shafts with those two shift forks. Forks. There, there are three on this. Uh, with the th with the two on, uh, you install that gear um, that that's behind this support. You know, supported by this shaft. Um, after, after that, you screw in uh, that screw that holds this little reverse gear. Uh, those uh, three screws that hold that C clip, screw those in, tighten them. Uh, now uh, install that support right here, and uh, screw in this screw that uh, that uh, keeps it um, tight with the. Uh, the core of the transmission you know and then you can do this assembly right here and from the top uh, everything being centered the shifter being centered uh, from the top it looks like this this is the you know the shift fork uh, what is it called lever or shaft or something uh, you know when you have this little pin in the middle and this second little pin in the middle of that part right here uh, you know, make sure you install this part correctly, not the not the other way around like this, but like this. Uh, you can wait up uh, before you put in the spring and um, <clears throat> what is that called? Like a plunger? Yeah, the spring and the plunger that go in that hole. You can wait a little bit. Do it just like right before you put everything back together. Um, so far, we've had like problems from. I'm not going to go into details with the problems because we just solved them and, uh, you know, uh, we had to, yeah, take the this whole assembly uh, apart because this part of the main shaft fell because right here it's, uh, it's being divided so you can just pull it out if you want to. Not like this because right now it's, it's going to stay, but uh, we didn't, well, I don't, I don't know, Some, somehow it fell. There's a bunch of bearings, uh, nine little, nine little rolls that make up a bearing in here inside this, uh, nine of them, and uh, it, it made it really hard. 
So uh, now what we're gonna do is uh, I'm gonna cut the video, and what we're gonna do is uh, put the rest of the case, install it back on with silicone all the way here. I'm gonna use this. I think yeah. I'm gonna use this. Uh, it's like a gasket maker. And so we're gonna do this. Uh, we have a bunch of parts here as far as pins. Um, this random. Uh, this random one that goes, uh, I forgot where, it goes on the case. Uh, you know, all these uh, little screws. This one that I had to weld with the welder uh, back in. And it's gonna be in direct contact with the shifting uh, shifting shaft here. Shift, shift fork shaft or whatever it's called. It's gonna be like inside one of those, I believe. Anyway, so we're gonna do it and uh, I'm gonna tape when we're on the next step. Thanks for watching my first uh, three videos. I know it's kind of weird sometimes, kind of hard to see, and uh, but I've actually watched my own videos to be able to put this transmission back together. So I'm very confident that if you do the same, you will be successful. Okay, we got it together. And uh, uh, so this step is about those are screws right here uh, there was a pin a pressure pin right there that we pushed in um, there is a hole right there because the pin is on the other side it's still in the hole but on the other side inside the bell housing so we're gonna push it in from inside the bell housing uh, it was kinda tricky just putting it all back together but we found that this way of doing it was the best and uh, I think my friend has something to say after this uh, after this mechanic ad adventure. Well, uh, do you have anything to say, uh, Jonathan? Well, um, this is what the transmission made me do. <laughs> okay. I'm Should good. I do it too? No, I don't deserve it. No, it's not yours. It's my transmission. Oh yeah, it's your for, transmission. For, for so. For it makes you wanna it makes you wanna hit your head uh yeah so uh we got those uh those screws to put on for the the cover that goes at the end uh on the input shaft and uh, we have this also with a spring in in there uh that's about it that's all we have left to do uh, this is the part that I welded, like I welded a nut to that, that pin because it was so hard to remove. There we go. We have uh, installed that plug. Plug is now back on. Can you see it? Yeah, right there. With uh, that nut that I welded to it on top. And um, one more thing. Yeah, we just put that bolt back in right here. And it I mean this one, yeah. It interacts with uh, the shifting mechanism, and uh, now we just installed that ring. Can you show them the ring that we just put in? The ring. The red ring. Oh yes. Uh, the, this one. The, the, what are they? O rings. Yeah. That one. Right there, we just installed it. Uh, we got a new ring because we broke the one that we uh, removed, and we just made a gasket for this. Silicon. Yeah, with black silicone. Oh yeah, I forgot to show, like, the gasket that we made for this one. For the case. You know, it runs all around it. I don't know if you can really see it. I can't really see it in my, uh, viewer. In my, uh, video camera viewer. Okay, uh, put it on. You remember the order? Yeah, it's like that. Perfect. That's one part of it. And now, then so we're gonna install this on top. This one has uh, two holes for two screws. Two bolts. I just hope it comes like that. And we'll uh, see. that thing will be ready. That's gonna be the end of it. Screw goes here. Right. right. Yes. 
the last thing to do on this transmission on this NV3500 truck transmission to put it right there and uh, that's the hydraulic line and we're doing it this way because this uh, this uh, quick disconnect wouldn't work the way we wanted it. I right. here, gonna do it. And be careful; it's very soft pin. It's very uh, fragile. Okay, that's it. We officially rebuilt an NV3500 transmission. And uh, now I'm not so scared about transmissions anymore. Actually, when you're, uh, when you got tools and you got time, and you got the will to do it, it's uh, really possible. This is the hydraulic line. So that's it. So. Just put it back on the truck and you'll be good to go. Uh, please don't forget to rate and subscribe and uh, leave comments, ask questions if you need advice or uh, or help in any way or you know um, questions about how to get the parts for this or whatever. I'll uh, answer because I check my YouTube all the time. All right, bye bye. Thanks for watching.